Hi, I'm Josh. This is my channel, Newton for a second. Welcome, everyone, and welcome to part five of my journey to level three certification. In this video, I'm going to cover my nose cone modifications. Similar to what I did with the Jupiter 3, I beefed it up for the level three project, the Jupiter 4. So here's the Jupiter 3's nose cone and Jupiter 4's nose cone. And we'll get into the differences. All right, we'll start with the Jupiter 3 nose cone. What I've done for a modification here is I cut the base of the, uh, the shoulder off, as you can see, and I put in a 3 8 thick wooden centering I custom cut and it is epoxied in with 15 minute BSI epoxy and the reason why I use 15 minute is it's flexible and you know plastic has that give and it's worked very well I've got a lot of flights in with this nose cone it's held as a reinforcement I added from another youtuber that suggested I added some screws and counter sunk them in just uh, you know another reinforcement um, when you, I'm not sure, you know, I've never done this before and this seems to hold really well and I got my two U-bolts, the cover and inside here is a um, it's a three inch tube, payload tube that goes down and that is so I can add weight to the nose cone or possibly future electronics if I want to do so but I more did that to add weight and I have these two pound clay bag, you know, of clay I put in these bags and I could slide them down and that's worked very well with uh, the Jupiter 3 project. So here is the Jupiter 4 nose cone. Again, modified, looks similar. Chopping the, the base of the uh, lock precision nose cone off so you lose that, um, those plastic loops. Okay, and same thing, I have added the 3 8 plywood but what is different is I also added another plywood ring in here, cut a little bit bigger, and it locks in here. Um, so you, you can't pull through. Um, researching this more, I didn't realize, you know, even Lock has some of these kits that, that, that lock in the place right here. Um, the center ring kind of like uh, you push it through and it pops in in there, and then you can't pull it through. Because um, it's it's pushing against uh, the shoulder, which reinforces it. But I wanted to do both, where this is a level three project. Again, I've got some. Uh, I didn't countersink any screws, but I just I did put dowels in, and they're epoxyed in. Also, what I did to reinforce this nose cone is I used five sixteenths threaded rod and. So you have a the the threaded rod, a nut washer, then a nut and a washer, or a washer and a nut, and then to the centering you got the nut washer, then washer and a and a nut. <laughs> this is pretty. Uh, I feel like this is pretty heavy duty. And again, you have the three inch mailing tube that I use from Staples. This is a payload tube, and that goes all the way. Probably stops right about here, and there's plenty of epoxy there, and that tube is epoxied to this centering and this centering. So that's another reinforcing point, keeping this all together. And I don't think I'll have a problem with it pulling apart. I also did the lid the same way as a cover for the payload section. Again, I like to have the option of adding weight to it like those two pound bag, clay bags I have, I can stuff a few in there. Um, I have another piece, like a coupler that goes in. Um, I have a few or different lengths, so I can hold. What that does is it, push, it pushes the clay to the furthest part of the tip and it'll hold it there. I don't want the clay to slide down when this is under thrust. So it's a, like a long coupler piece and I just put it in there and the lid goes on, holds the coupler in place. And then the coupler will hold the uh, the glue or yeah, the other glue, <laughs> the uh, the clay. Okay, so now I'm going to cut to the video applying this modification to the lock precision nose cone. <laughs> 
Just a little tip, if you cut your own threaded rods, make sure they are going to bolt on nicely. I don't know if you can see, I have sanded the uh, the ends here because when you cut them, I don't know if you can see how raw they look, they're not, they're not going to go on very well, if at all. So all I do is I run them on... this sander right here a little belt sander and then I just try to clean up these edges Definitely a lot smoother. Uh, if you do this, wear eye protection because you get little fragments of this uh, the cut debris flying in the air. Because when you cut these, uh, you're getting like little pieces of metal that are kind of like just hanging there, rough edges. And when you sand them, they're flying in the air. So yeah, wear some protection. All right, so we'll walk back over here. And now we should be able to see This should go on much better. See, look at that. That's all you need.
level three project. Part six will go over all the extra body work that's paint, decals, tip to tip with the fiberglass on the fins, 
Um, I believe we'll do some injection charge tests on it. So it's just gonna wrap up everything and finalize the build. And then part seven should be a test flight. At this stage of the build, things are getting really exciting where this rocket is pretty close to flying. And I enjoy sharing this experience with everyone. So I really appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you next time. Thanks again.